friend Gene Ham, everybody. Gene Ham. I don't know what. I'm very stupid, but I identify as smart. <laughs> I almost didn't get here tonight. Uh, he was talking about on the freeway. Uh, we got the traffic got tied up because of some constipated woman. <laughs> Maybe you've heard of her. Her name is Elaine. Uh, <laughs> I was on the radio car radio. It says Elaine is blocked in the 405. Elaine is blocked <laughs> in the 210. We got to get this woman a laxative so we don't get to work on time. <laughs> Um, I have to confess something. You're really nice people, so you deserve to know that I, I have a really big problem. I am a workaholic. Yes, it's ruined my life. I've driven away friends, family, and loved ones. But I'm doing something about it. I've joined Workaholics Anonymous. And I have a sponsor. And now, anytime I get the urge to work, I call up my sponsor. He comes over and we get drunk. <laughs> I'm also addicted to dancing, but I'm in a 12-step program. <laughs> <laughs> I had a horrible week. My reality check bounced. <laughs> Broke a string on my air guitar. <laughs> a lot of people are living on a fixed income right now. I'm I'm living on a broken income and trying to get mine fixed. <laughs> I'm old enough that I can remember that a car cost what a house costs now. But now the economy is so bad, everybody's living in their cars, so it's, everything works out. <laughs> I found out the hard way you cannot do a wheelie on a unicycle. <laughs> <laughs> I wound up in the hospital in, in serious condition. Fortunately, it got upgraded to laughable condition. Still bothers me. I got tendonitis from it and it got worse, turned into 11 tinnitus. Uh, I got sick the other day. I ate some bad salmon and got chickenella. <laughs> I had to go to the dentist, and my dentist is so cheap. I asked for laughing gas, and he farted <laughs> and laughed. <laughs> but I've got some good news. Uh, uh, yeah, my, uh, I found my wife's G-spot. Yeah, I, I know this because every time I try to make love to her, she goes, G. <laughs> A lot of guys have fantasies of having a threesome. Not me. I can only disappoint one woman at a time. <laughs> <laughs> My wife and I are dyslexic, which doesn't help in bed. We both threw our backs out trying to do 96. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand Facebook. People tell total strangers their innermost secrets. You know, they, they tell you where they live, they tell you their address, they have pictures of what they're eating, they have pictures of who they're making love to, they have pictures of what they just bought, they tell you when they're going on vacation, so you can come over and steal what they just bought. <laughs> but when you're driving down the street, nobody signals before they cut you off back they keep a fucking secret. <laughs> But things aren't all bad. I, 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 I'm pretty hopeful for the future. One of the things I'm, I'm uh, excited about is human cloning. Uh, human cloning is not only possible, the, the technology is there. We can do it now. The science is there. The only thing holding it back is the legal ramifications. But one of these days, there's going to be some precedent setting case that will go through the Supreme Court that will make uh, uh, cloning legal. You know, some, something like Roe versus Wade. Versus Roe versus Wade, versus Roe versus Wade, versus Roe versus Wade. And then after that, uh, it's going to be legal, and you're going to have to be very, very careful who you tell, go fuck yourself. Because <laughs> they will, and they'll come back with an army. But I, I, I can imagine myself cloned. I, I, 
I think the, you know, like a lot of people, I think the whole world would be a lot better place if everybody was just like me. And I, I could clone a whole town full of me. And I, I could move in there. And it would be paradise for about six months. Then I'd have to move out. And I can't stand those assholes. <laughs> But I'd like to leave you with some uplifting messages. I mean, one, one thing my father used to tell me all the time is that the world, whole world won't smell like shit if you get your head out of your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and, and also, the trouble with the world is there's too many people taking your shit, not enough people giving a shit. So thank you. I hope to see you after. <laughs>